Hold on tight. Woohoo! Hi. Casey. Edmund, uh, I'm. Hi, Dixie, you all right? You look a little flush. Yeah, I am. Uh, I think I know why you're here. Oh? You do? Yeah, it's, um, about our conversation that we had before. Yeah. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> why don't we go in the study, okay? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Okay. Dixie? What is this? Should I call an ambulance? No, I don't know. Dixie, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? I'm going to take Nanny, all right? I'll get still. I'll be right back. I'm going to stay down here. Yeah, will you bring me back my doctor's bag? You got it. Stay. Wait. Ice. Dixie? Dixie, stay with me. Dixie, do you have any pain in your chest? No. What? Do you have a pain in your chest? No. What happened? No. She passed out. I don't know. Her house is racing slightly. Dixie? You think it's a heart? I hope not. She has a history of pulpitis. Get the stuff going. Yeah. Thank you. Dixie? Is she going to be all right? Yeah. Well, we'll see you soon enough. Hi. You feeling better? Oh, my God. What happened? You fainted. Oh. David, what is he doing here? I was here. How are you feeling? I could like to get up off the floor. Oh, just wait a minute. Just wait a second. All right? Your heart sounded fine, but I'd like to run some tests anyway. An EKG. Yeah, you should. I don't need that. It's not necessary. Yes, I think it is necessary. Oh, Careful. Easy, easy, really? easy. easy. I'm you... so sorry. Would you like to lie down on the sofa or something? Yeah, or in the bedroom? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 that's okay. Actually, I really would like to take her to the hospital. I don't need to go to the hospital. David, I'm fine. You're completely overreacting. And now you're the one with the medical degree? David's right, you know. You can't be too careful. Thank you. Sorry. Goodbye, Edna. Yeah. Alex, come on. I'll be fine. You'll better. Thank you. This is so dumb. Put me down. I can walk. You know something? You have to be one of the most stubborn women on this entire planet. I really should have taken you to the hospital to run some tests. Well, that would have been a complete waste of time because I'm fine. You passed out. It's because I didn't eat any breakfast this morning. And it's very hot outside. And I went rushing over to Wild Wind and I was upset. I just lost steam, that's all. I just should have eaten better. So you're not eating? I'm just not eating well, that's mm. all. Great. The boys are out of town. Tad is busy with his new job. I'm not cooking as much as I usually do. And my stomach's in knots most of the time, anyway. This is everything that's going on with Dimitri. Yes. Yeah, you figured that one out, didn't you? Yeah, what I think is that you're not sleeping well, either. Now, Dixie, you really have to take better care of yourself. I will. All I right. will. Shh, shh, shh. Please. Try to calm down, all right? Takes a licking, keeps on taking. Thankfully. Now, I want you to get something to eat. And I want you to rest for a few days, just in case. What do you mean, rest? As in bed? Yes, as in bed. Why, would you like me to help you to find your way upstairs? No. I am not going to be confined to bed like some kind of invalid. And I'm not going to be wandering about my house when all this, all this foundation work has to be done. Look, I'm not, um, you said my heart's fine. Don't treat me like a cardiac patient. Well, how about if I treat you like an employee? You're fired. No, I'm not. Now, what is this? Some kind of variation on a theme. You can't run away from me, so you're just going to fire me? Well, guess what? I'm just going to keep showing up for work anyway. Be realistic, Dixie. I am being realistic. Okay, Alex and Edmund are headed for disaster. That doesn't mean I can still show up for work. You're putting your health in jeopardy. I'm not going to let you do this well, to Well, I'm not going to let you fire me. I'm doing this for you. I blame myself for what happened this morning. The second I saw how stressed out you were becoming, I should have pulled you back. I let you get involved, and look what happened to you. It's not your fault. I walked into your office when Dimitri was there. Yes, yes, but this whole thing is tearing you apart. You can't keep going like this, Dixie. I want you away from the stress. It's not going to change anything. And me telling Alex and Edmund that Dimitri is live may not change anything either. Look, what, what if I do save Dimitri? Okay, what then? Well, you see how Alex and Edmund, how much in love they are? 
He wants to marry her, Dixie. He wants to bring her into his family. There's no happy ending here. Somebody's going to get hurt, either way. It's already started with you. So that's it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it for now. I don't want to lose you as an assistant, but I certainly don't want to lose you as my friend. You're not going to lose me as either one. I'm not quitting, and I'm not going to let you fire me. Can we talk about this later, all right? You're exhausted. Now promise me that you'll get some rest. Promise me you won't clear out my desk? Can we deal with this later? Now just lie back and get some sleep. I'll check with you in a few hours. I am tired. Can you show yourself out? Yeah. I can do that.